Okay, so today today's kind of exciting. Actually, this is a product that I've wanted to test for a while. And these guys here, Quiz Quiz Labs, um, reached out to me, and they actually reached out to me when I had my M2 Mac Mini Pro, my M2 Pro Mac Mini, I guess that's right, uh, to test. And I was like, well, I don't have it anymore because I returned it because I didn't need both a studio and um, a Mac Mini M2 Pro. So I was like, does it work on both? And they were like, yeah, it works on both. So I was like, okay, uh, I, want, I want to try it because, and this was the big way, big thing, right? For those that have an M2 Mac Mini or an M2 Pro Mac Mini or an M1 Mac Mini, it doesn't really matter. Um, this can, you know, kind of make your uh, computer a little more Mac Studio like, right? Because for me, one of the big things that I really enjoy with my Mac Studio, of course, is the front ports. So having USB ports on the front, having the SD card reader on the front, those kind of things for me, actually really nice. Um, now, of course, you get USB-C ports on the front, as well as um, for the high-end Mac Studio, you get Thunderbolt ports on the front. But what is included with this, which is super cool, and it may actually have it on the back, is hard drive support. So you can put a two and a half, uh, two and a half inch, either a hard drive or a solid state, and uh, you can put uh, an M.2 SSD or NVMe into this one. Now, supposedly it's a it supports PCIe Gen 3, but you know, instead of taking your Mac Mini or your Mac Mini M1, M2, M2 Pro, whatever it is, and spend a gazillion dollars upgrading the internal drive, which you should should still have like a 512 gig or a one terabyte internally, is my, is my thoughts. <clears throat> if you want to go more than that, this could be fantastic. So on this version, of course, they have the HDMI out and the display port. Both of them actually on this one says that they can support 8K at 30 Hertz. It says right on the box, right? 8K at 30 Hertz. My guess is uh, you could do 4K at 60 Hertz, maybe? I'm not 100% sure. Um, for me right now, oh yeah, see it says right here on the screen, 4K at 60. It's funny because it does say Ultra HD video output, your Mac to one external monitor through uh, DisplayPort 1.4 port, 4K at 60, or HDMI 2.0 port at 4K at 60. I'm a, it's a, but it says right on the box and I don't have an 8K monitor, so I can't, I can't, I can't verify that, but it says both of them 8K at 30. Hmm. Anyways, we're going to, uh, take a look at what this says and then we're going to, uh, hook it into my computer to see what, uh, what it's like, what its performance is like, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So. I'm not sure if this is an upgraded version of this one. I don't really know. It does say USB-C docking station with hard drive and solid state enclosures, right? Uh, DP port, HDMI, NVIDIA SSD, memory card readers, two and a half inch hard drive, USB-A, USB-C ports, et cetera, et cetera. Um, doesn't say if it's been upgraded to be like a, because uh, this is USB 3.0 connectors. I don't know if it's maybe gone to 3.1 I, I don't know i don't know but it because it says you guys right you guys see it here it says it says 8k hmm. now just before we open this just so you guys are aware i also went and bought i bought this where is it here this one here you see i last purchased this february 25th because i was waiting for these to arrive and where is it right here that's it this is not it I've, this is a case that I'm going to be reviewing later. Anyways, I bought this and the NetHack SSD one terabyte drive, which means I have to go upstairs and get that as well as I did get this. Uh, where am I here? Crucial, right? Right here. Crucial. And this is like they said, P3, third gen, two terabyte, uh, up to 3,500 um, megabytes per second. Uh solid state drive right now 144 i spent 149 but on the crucial drive right now it's 100 bucks i think it is these are canadian prices uh and i got it for 68 so i lost on one gained on the other 
Okay, let me let me go grab that drive because I don't think I can install an iPhone case in here. So let me go get that drive and then we'll open this. We'll open this up and we'll install the drives and continue. Oh, you know, it's great when the weather's changing. It's cold outside and uh, everything hurts. My knees hurt. I woke up this morning. My shoulders hurt. Anyways, here's the drive, right? Net, net 3D NAND SSD, one terabyte. So I have a one terabyte internal in my studio and uh, with these two right here, which I bought, which I bought, um, I'll be up to four terabytes internal with this. So there it is, Quiz Labs. Now I've, I wanna say opened it, not really opened it. I've, I've taken a look at what comes inside it. Okay. It's a nice white box with stuff inside. Now, the one thing to, to be aware, this uses two, two of your USB-C ports on the back. Now, I'm not 100% sure why. It may need two of them to be able to get enough power through the ports, or it may just use two different buses so that uh, for data speeds, I'm not too sure. Um, but I believe you get four USB-C ports on your Mac Mini, pending, pending. I, I'm not 100% sure. And on the studio, I know you get four. Now I only use two on my studio, so two, two other ones, two empty ones, are ready for this. It's gonna make my studio even taller, even taller. So this is you get a quick start guide, and it kind of shows you how to install your hard drive. Uh, that's it, that's kind of it. USB output, USB 3.0, USB 3.1, and USB 3.1. All right, okay. And then uh, that's that's kind of how to connect your displays. Now, we're not connect, connecting displays. Uh, my guess is all of that should work. Here's the two, here's the two, where am I here? Here's the two cables, right? USB-C to USB-C. They're nice and short, so they just kind of come out the back of your other one and right in, right? So just, which is cool. And of course, you are gonna get uh, this here. Don't lose this stuff, I guess. This is your, oh no, caught it, caught it, we're good. So you get a bunch of little screws, yes. And then these little little rubber gaskety things, these are to hold down hold down the, the tabs, I guess, on the hard drives when they go in. So I'm gonna move those screws over there. I think that's all of them. Pretty sure that's all of them. And last but not least, you do get this little, it's like little tape as far as I know, little little spots. And that's kind of to, you stick this, I guess, underneath onto the drive. So it's got a little little cushion, helps keep the drives down flat. And a screwdriver, right? A little screwdriver, sweet. Then this is, so this is, this is it. This is the thing, right? So you get a little four and you get you get five screws. I got five screws, so I'm guessing they give you an extra one. Uh, they have little stickers on the pads, so you can take those off, so it's you know, so it sticks better on your on your desk. Um, this right now, just boom, off it comes. We'll just pop that off, and there you go. That's gonna go where your NVMe goes in there, and that's gonna be where your uh, your two and a half inch drive goes. Uh, and then on the back here, you can see, right? Hopefully, you can see. That's gonna be your USB 3.0, USB 3.0. Oh, USB 3.1, your SD and micro SD, and then a 3.1 Gen 2. So that's that's all right. You get a bunch of bunch of them. These are going to be your pass through for power, right? It says computer, computer. Yeah, H host one, host two, Display Port, HDMI. That's that's it. Now the one thing to realize, and we'll start we'll start with with this one, right? My my net, my 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 blah, 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 my attack. Is that NetHack? I don't know. Um, these are, I want to say they're not, they're not fast anymore, right? You're only getting normally, and they say peaks out, like I think peak read write was like 500. So that fast? No, not really. It's definitely faster than a spinning hard drive for sure. But in comparison to this day and age, Right, we can get drives like the drive inside my Mac Studio. I think it's I don't know five thousand versus five hundred. 
So, you know, it is what it is. So these are like ridiculously easy. They can only go in one way. They only match one way and it's it's like that done. That's, that's it, installed, right? And then this, you take one of these and you simply just kind of stick it on the top like this because what happens is when the when the when the cover goes on it pushes that down right it just takes rid of that extra gap that's in there so easy yeah super easy and then this crucial uh this one does say it should be fast now you can get a gen 4 and, and you know depending on your thoughts uh, maybe you want to spend that little bit of extra money, especially if you can get a Gen 4 on, on at a good price. Because, like for me, for instance, I have a PlayStation 5, and the Gen 4s, a lot of them, uh, you can get that are going to be PlayStation 5 compatible, right? So they can use for storage. So down the road, if you don't want this, you could move it into that. But I didn't want to spend any extra money, uh, and I really wanted it to just be as fast as this machine could go. So out of the Gen 3s, bang per buck, this crucial one, was kind of the one that was like, yeah, I think that's gonna be the route. And I'm going to, for you guys, I will make sure to leave um, leave uh, a link to these drives below. And this, same thing, right? There you go, that's it right there, crucial. And it should, again, only be to go in one way. So you just kind of line it up. It goes in on an angle, like so. And then it, it's, it just, it just it sits like that and it sticks up. Now, there's a little rubber tab Right, and these ones, I'm guessing they're just extras because this goes down here, and then you stick the rubber tab, kind of back in, right? It just goes back in there, and voila, I guess that's that's it. Now that goes in there. This does come with its own little screw, right, right there. I don't think you can use it, but that's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And then last but not least, we have our top. This has an arrow that goes that way, so we're just gonna snug that up like so yes and i'm going to screw these in with my new handy screwdriver because that's awesome don't over tighten it of course just tightened enough they're nice and recessed which is good and come on you can find the spot you can you can find it there we go there we go. I found a spot. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so I'm going to finish putting these in um, nice and easy. I like the fact that they give you a couple extra of everything, just in case, you know, like me, you open it and it just decides to go on the floor. All right, we're going to go upstairs. I'm going to hook this into my Mac Studio. But again, Mac Studio, uh, Mac Mini, M1, M2, M2 Pro, doesn't matter. Uh, and uh, we'll see. we'll see what these drives are like, how fast they are. Yeah. All right, guys. So we are upstairs. Uh, as you can see, I have the dock installed here. I've got the drives installed. Everything's good. We're going to uh, turn it on, see what happens. Ready? It's booting. That's always a good sign. And it looks good, right? Oh, I got little power indicators show up. That's cool. Something's flashing. I'm guessing those may be hard drive lights, maybe hard drive activity lights, possibly. Okay, computer's booting up. All that's good stuff. And I, my feeling is I may have to, yeah, so here we go. So it's it's gonna make me initialize these drives, which is good, it, they just popped up. But it also means that it's good because, I don't know where my mouse is, there we go. Uh, we're gonna initialize these and initialize these. And I'm guessing one is this one, right? Two terabytes. That sounds right. I'll bring my screen recording up here so you guys can see this, right? So actually, maybe what I'll do is it's just easier if I put it on this screen over here. Yes, sir. This is a better screen. Okay, so we have this one and we have this one. These are the two uninitialized, okay? So this is the uh, NVMe. So I'm going to say erase that. Yep. And I'm going to call it 2TB NVMe. Okay. Scheme. Yep. Whatever. Sounds good. Boom.
mounting disk, creating, sweet, super sweet. Okay, there it is down there. And then we have this one, which is also, so I'm going to call this one, uh, one terabyte, I'll just call it uh, one TB Natak. I don't know if I'm spelling that right. I can always change it later. It doesn't matter. Boom. I love the fact, though, that it came up and actually said there's drives there. Not, initial, not initialized. Initialize. So do you want to? Just make sure you don't initialize the wrong drives because that would make you sad. Anyways, there they are. One terabyte in attack. Now it's wrong drive. You can't. You guys can't see that. So I'm going to stop this recording again. It's a day. All right, here we go. So now we have one terabyte in attack, two terabyte. All right. So number one, we're gonna we're gonna do speed tests on these. They showed up. That's fantastic. Right off the start. So we're gonna do a select target. First off, we'll do the slower of the two just to see. Uh, that's this one. Now, if I can get close to 500, I'll be pretty pleased. Pretty pleased. Ready? And go. 407 for right. Okay. That'll that'll still do, you know, 4K. And I'm probably going to use this one just for storage. But the, key, the key is, is it keeps it clean instead of having to do external stuff, right? Read. My guess would be, yes, yeah, kind of in the same. I find it funny that it, it, it writes faster than it reads. But I'm still getting in and around the 400, so that's okay. That's doable, right? It's It allows me to do 2160p in 60, in 60 frames. That's okay. That's fast enough. Cool. Now, the real question for me is, is the, the NVMe drive going to be faster or are we going to be completely limited by bus speed, right? So we're going to come in here uh, and we're going to select that. And this time we're going to go to the two terabyte. Okay. And this was the crucial drive, crucial drive. Again, uh, my guess is depending on how you have it connected, if you were to connect this drive internally to an, like an internal NVMe slot, we would get full speeds. I don't expect to get full speeds. If I can get, if I can get a thousand or faster, I'd, I'd be pleased. All right, ready? Uh, we're coming up close to the thousand. Right, 928. Read. Uh, reads not as fast. So we're writing faster than we're reading for sure. But still, those are speeds that are completely fine for like editing off of. For sure, right? So, uh, am I okay with that? Yeah. So here's here's the thing. Would I would I be overly? Uh, would I need to have the fastest NVMe drive to put into this? No, because are you going to get those speeds? No. This one says it claims that it can do over two thousand. Um, I'm getting you know nine hundred and five hundred, right? Um, so can I edit off both of these drives? Yes. Would I edit off of the um, two terabyte NVMe versus the crucial SSD? Yeah, it's definitely faster. Now here's here's the one question, right? Because I spent one hundred and fifty dollars uh, on that was Canadian, right? One hundred and fifty, one hundred and forty-five. You can get it for uh, on uh, that internal. So my question then is this: this here is an external, right? That is but it's expensive like i think I, this two terabyte i think this cost me 200 and something dollars right well let's just see right here let's 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 go on the amazon we will do a sand disk two terabyte external ssd so it is their extra fast one their gen 2 this is it so 200 bucks right 200 bucks versus 150 Right? Or is it? No, it's this one I bought, the Extreme Pro. Sorry. Right? I bought the Extreme Pro, I believe. 2000, it says. Yeah, because this one only does 520. It's this one. So $300. $300. Okay. So we're going to take this and we're going to plug it into my actual Mac into the solid state. 
And we'll do the same thing because that's that's a lot of money, right? So if we come in here and select target and go to uh, my extreme, extreme, is that it? Yep, extreme, start. See, I'm not getting those kind of, sp I'm getting actually faster off the internal because I was getting 900, right, off the internal. And my read, yeah, so read, reads a l maybe a little bit faster, but my write, I'd rather get the internal, you know? So, because on the Mac, and I don't know why, when you're on the Mac and you run externals, at least for me, I've never been able to get them to run anywhere close to their 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 supposed maximum speed. So, the fact that I can get about a thousand or so on the internal for less money, pretty cool. Plus, for those of you on a Mac Mini, you now get three front-facing USB-A ports, you get a front-facing USB-C port, and you get an SD card and a micro SD card reader. That's kind of nice, right? So if you have the four USB-C slash Thunderbolt ports on the back, even when you use two of them, you're going to have two left. So that should be plenty. Just, just kind of, you know, you have to figure out based on your own needs. I like it. And for me, now I can just, I can go crazy with the drives. Crazy with the drives. All right, guys, that is the quiz lab, which also includes the inter internal drives. So basically, uh, you can get this drive or this enclosure and an internal solid state drive and possibly a, uh, just a solid state drive, so you get the NVMe and the solid state for uh, less money than uh, one external two terabyte, depending on your brand, right? Depending on the brand and the performance. So just gotta be aware. I think it's I think it's a good deal. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, turn turn your Mac Mini kind of into a mini studio for l less monies. All right, guys. Links below to hard drives and the uh, dock. And uh, we'll see you guys next video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell. Then I'm out. Later, guys.